So let's do 251 minus 367. Obviously, the answer is going to be negative because I'm taking away a bigger number from a smaller number, right? So let me just show you that this is not going to work with the method I showed you last time if I do it like that. So I'm going to do 1 minus 7, which I can't do. So I'm going to borrow 1 from the 5. The 5 becomes a 4. So I got 11 minus 7, which leaves me with 4. Now, 4 minus 6, I can't do. I need to borrow 1 from the 2. The 2 becomes a 1. So I got 14 minus 6, which leaves me with 8. And then 1 minus 3. I can't do that. There's nothing else to borrow from as well. So like, what? What is it? Uh, minus 2? Well, no, it's not. So you see, the, the method doesn't work, right? When I do it that way. So how on earth do I do it? How on earth do I do take away a bigger number from a smaller number? Well, you need to realize that the difference, like what is subtraction? Subtraction is finding the difference between two numbers, right? So for instance, what's the difference between five and seven? I have to add two to the five to get the seven. And to go from 7 to 5, I have to take away 2, right? So that's the difference. But it depends if I want to go from 5 to 7 or from 7 to 5. To go from 20 to 36, I have to add 16. But to go from 36 to 20, I have to take away 16. So what I want you to notice is that the difference is always the same. But if I want to go from the bigger to the smaller one, then it's just, the difference is just going to be negative. That means that if I want to subtract something like that, right? Uh, all I have to do is flip it. So I could just do uh, the bigger one minus the 251 because the difference is going to be the same answer. I just need to remember that originally the big, uh, I'm taking away the bigger number from the smaller number. So I know that the answer is going to be negative. All right. So straight away here, when I'm taking these two away, 3, 6, 7 minus 251. I just need to add a negative in my answer before I even write anything because uh, I know that the answer will be negative because I'm really trying to do this, not that. You see what I'm saying? So you can flip them. Just remember about the negative uh, if you're doing a bigger number from a smaller number. So uh, 7 minus 1 is 6. 6 minus 5 is 1. 3 minus 2 is 1. So answer is negative 116, right? And then if I did it that uh, normally, uh, it would just be 116 as well, right? It's just it won't be negative. All right, I hope you get the idea. If you enjoyed the video, if it helped, make sure to hit that like button, make sure to hit that subscribe button, and even leave me a comment, tell me what you thought about it. Maybe you leave a comment telling me what uh, other topic you want me to cover. And yeah, I will see you in the next one.